Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right. So all of our DF Empress High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you. Okay. Let us go ahead and jump into the reading. Let us see Ooh, what these messages are. That's way too many. For our feminines, what's going on with her? Distance, okay, could be some physical, emotional um, distance between you or your twin. You and your twin, I don't feel this is a spiritual distance, but it could definitely be physical or emotional due to someone else, third party, okay, someone being in the middle of the connection. This person is asking for you to be patient with them. As they are going through a transition in their life, we have let go. So it doesn't matter what reading, what cards, whatever I use, the message is along the same lines because that's what's going on with the masculine energies at this moment. 111 on the timestamp. They're going through a portal. There's also what's going on with the feminines as well. You're letting go of what does not serve you. Okay. Anything that doesn't feel good, you're just letting it go. You're tired of forcing things, tired of forcing people to be people they aren't, tired of forcing Whatever is going on, you're just tired of it. So with this let go, it says make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. All right, so let us see how feminine can best heal herself or care for herself in this moment. Karmics may be intentionally doing things to tick you off or your vibration, different things like that. I mean, they're really immature and they're really showing their asses right now. We have pleasure, okay? So this could be self-pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have energy. Okay, yeah, so make sure you're doing energy work, okay, aligning your chakras. I was going to say that you can pleasure yourself. People think that you shouldn't or you, you can't or it's bad for you. It's really not, okay? Pleasure yourself, it's fine. We have music here, okay? Um, listen to songs that are good for you, that raise your vibration, okay, that feel good energetically. And I feel this one, plan a vacation. These two or three fell out, but it's a lot. We have spend time with animals, abundance planning, and sweet treat. Okay, so baking. Some of you may like to bake, okay, or cook. We have spend time with animals, like I said, and then abundance planning. Okay, so budgeting, different things like that. Setting your sights on what it is that you want to accomplish or achieve, and then achieving it. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Underlying energy, alone time. Yeah, you may just need to recharge. Like I said, you know, releasing karmic, letting go of outdated energy or whatever is going on with it. Okay, let us see. Messages here for our feminines. Your healing, strength card, and moving on with your life. Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Three of Cups. Again, something about a third party, somebody in the middle. Could be a karmic in your life, karmic in their life. Someone is in the middle right now. Okay. We have the two of pentacles, but you're finding your center. You're finding balance again. Okay. Maybe this is why you need your alone time just to recharge. Kind of, like I said, just be with you. Okay. Some of you, this could be, um, like other than just taking a vacation, but just you being alone, period, you know, just you being single. Some of you are in this energy of blocking other people out, other energies out. You only want or are interested in anything romantic with your divine counterpart when that time comes. Four of Pentacles, the feeling is mutual. They want to hold on to you. I also feel like overall, like it said, some of you are in this energy of budgeting, getting your finances together. They could be in the energy of that as well. Twins usually mirror. Yeah, full card because there's a brand new beginning coming here. Okay, brand new beginning, fresh start, new chapter, turning the page. Okay, Seven of Swords is strategy. Some of you may be having to keep a lot of these things to yourself from third party from karmic okay that could also be them we have a king of swords here a king of swords is like truth okay so some of you could clearly see that something is over or something is done you're looking for reciprocity six of pentacles in your life you don't want to keep forcing something or whatever the hell is going on here okay let us see all right 
we have the ten of cups yeah this is what's on your mind happily ever after having what you want and what you deserve okay and again it's something here about like harmony so aligning your chakras when you're in alignment as within so without so get yourself together you get what i'm saying you want to cook cook you want to bake bake do the things that you like to do do what makes you happy do what makes you feel good i feel like again karmics are doing things intentionally to tick you off that's what they're there for they're karmics <laughs> they're there to teach you a lesson and they're there to make you grow as are you for them okay learn a lesson and move on with your life so we have the ten of pentacles exactly you don't need to be in a five of pentacles energy that's another thing when you're dealing with karmics things just won't be as they should be so it'll be a lot of four of pentacles five of pentacles energy you get what i'm saying but when you're on the right track alone or with the right person ten of cups ten of pentacles you can have that so we have hermit like i said alone some of you are just going to decide you know what i'm going to be by myself until that time comes yeah see temperance is getting yourself together emotionally mentally spiritually in every which way financially as well you get what i'm saying just getting yourself together period keeping yourself together and moving forward honey you got the queen of cups your heart is still open i'm also getting that your heart is full you know you fill your cup spirit fills your cup you make sure that you take care of yourself you make sure that you know yeah you're doing what feels good and you're walking away from what doesn't period if something doesn't feel good for you you're walking away from it you're building yourself up here I mean, and for some of you, you feel like you can't continue to build yourself up in whatever environment you're in because whoever this karmic is, it's like they do everything in their power to try to break you down, okay? I feel like they're a broken person. So broken people break people. Just like hurt people hurt people. You get what I'm saying? So just let them find their self and let them pick their self up from now on. That's it. Put your energy into yourself. So we have the two of pentacles here. Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, exactly. See what I'm saying? This is what's come to your awareness. That you like to keep your balance. And there's someone that wants to fight with you all the time. Argue with you all the time. Make everything difficult all the time. You know, life is not supposed to be like that. <laughs> we have a King of Wands here. It could be a fire sign for some of you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, you're over it. Again, Five of Pentacles, blocking this person out, blocking the energy out. Nine of Pentacles, because you know who you are. You can have this Nine of Pentacles on your own. You're financially independent, you know. You don't need to depend on whoever or whatever this is. They cause you a lot of pain anyway. So it's over. That's what I'm seeing. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Judgment card. I feel like you just know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you're deserving of. And with the Fool card, you're tired of like settling for anything less than that. The Fool is also about releasing attachments to whatever the hell the outcome you may thought you wanted. And just be open to what's actually for you. What Spirit has for you. All right. Some of you may be in that energy of, well, this person, they like to keep me in the five of, of, of pinnacles. Well, they don't need to know anything. And honestly, they don't need to be a part of anything you have going on. You can build yourself up and move around accordingly. Simple as that, especially when they're in the five of wands, five of pinnacles energy. You're in the nine of pinnacles, ten of pinnacles, you know, energy. That means you know who you are. You know how to build yourself up. You're very confident. You keep showing up as like the queen of wands, the queen of cups, the queen of pinnacles. You're somebody who knows how to get there. So... Whoever this selfish, devious liar is, because that's what a king of wands is in the downright position. And I don't feel like they're in their upright. I feel like they're in the down, downright position. The only reason it showed up upright is because that's how all the cards are right now. I feel like if it would have flipped out, it would have came out reverse. They feel like very liar, uh, very, very liar. They feel like a um, very deceptive person. We have the ace of cups here. Yes, like I said, your heart is full. It's overflowing. It's not like you're upset. Yeah, this person, you know, they do anything that they can to sabotage you. So this is why spirit is saying you may as well just keep this shit to yourself. And even if you tell them, like, yeah, I'm leaving you, they don't have to know your fucking plans. They don't have to know how you're leaving, when you're leaving, what you're going to do. None of that. You get what I'm saying? They have to know nothing. They don't have to be a part of anything you have going on. <laughs> yeah, we have the nine of cups. I was going to say that earlier. You're the nine of pentacles. You're the nine of cups. You're self-fulfilled. You know, you are good. Okay, 0909 on a timestamp. 0909, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. You don't need heartache and five of pentacles. Here's the ace of wands. You're very powerful. Yeah, you know how to make something from nothing. You know how to build yourself up. You're a craftsman or crafts lady. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, nobody has a craftswoman, but you get what I'm saying, crafts lady. Funny as hell. You have no time for this. Then there's true love coming in too, or there's true love there for you, girl. Go to your auntie's house. So we have Ten of Pentacles, I mean Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Look at this. So first of all, 
there's somebody this emperor masculine energy to you wants to hold on to you because they want that with you as well then there's a karmic masculine that wants to hold on to you because they benefit off of you you get what i'm saying not necessarily that you get anything from them <laughs> okay so let us see here the ten of cups the four of pentacles all right what is this yeah the star card no you you bless their life they don't bless your life yeah you're empress you see what I'm saying? Six of Wands. This is what comes to your awareness. This is what you know. All right. So maybe, you know, people like that don't want you to know yourself. Narcissists want to try to confuse you so you don't know yourself. You know who you are. This person, they can't. Uh, who is this person, feminine? <laughs> like, really? Freaking pathetic. So we got the Ten of Pentacles here. The Hanged One. You see things from a different perspective now. And now that you do, it's time to move forward. So when you feel like you were stuck. You were stuck because you were impartial in mind. You felt bad. But now you're strong enough to not care. The world is like just ending the cycle. It's not for you. It's not for you. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups. That's it. Eight of Cups and the Hermit. Oh, you're going ghost on this motherfucking King of Wands. They thought you were playing. That's the problem. So <laughs> they thought you were playing about you and yours. No. The Queen of Cups know what she deserves. The Queen of Cups is looking for like-minded individual. Also, like-minded individual is looking for you. I feel like if some of you were in a long-term commitment with this person or you were married to this person, they're going to continue to try to apologize to you, but it doesn't matter because at this point, they've betrayed your trust so many times. You don't trust a thing that comes out of their mouth. Even if they were to tell you their first and last name and you know exactly what their first and last name is, you will assume that they're lying because everything out their mouth holds zero weight to you now. We have temperance here. This is divine intervention. Spirit is saying, you know, sow your seeds wisely. This is no longer where you will be investing your time, your energy, your money, nothing. You will no longer be putting any of you into this. They will now understand and learn a very valuable lesson. So if anything, I feel like you did exactly what you, you were here to do. You know, when you have a karmic relationship, that's what you're there to do. Teach them a lesson. I bet you they will never, ever in their life play with another divine being like that. We have the eight of swords. Yeah, they wanted to keep you stuck and um, prevent you from getting to this person. This king of pentacles is very reliable, dependable. Okay, so yeah, like I said, there was someone in the middle that was trying to prevent you from coming together with your emperor. But there's a rebirth here with this person. Look, they love you. This person is just like you. They're very loving. They're very dependable, very reliable. Okay, very secure within themselves. If I did not already say that. Okay, in every way, emotionally, mentally, they're not seeking other people's validation. They're not having their hand out. They can take care of themselves, take care of whatever they need to take care of. Maybe even take care of others too. Page of Cups, okay, again, so now this person's going to be trying to apologize, 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 nothing, I, you don't want to hear it, I just heard I don't want to hear it, <laughs> it's nothing that you can say that's going to make a difference, Karmic, you get what I'm saying, there's nothing you can say, nothing you can do at this point, yeah, we have Hammer, they know they sabotaged the connection with you, they're going to want to rebuild it, it's nothing they can do, Cupid's Arrow, some of you um, only have eyes for your divine counterpart, you don't even see anybody else, Yeah, keys on the ring. But like this person that you're letting go of, they had many, many options. You know, they just wanted to keep you around because of what they got from it. Again, um, they could have gaslit this out of you and made you think that it was something else. Made you also feel like you weren't enough. Your masculine, your counterpart doesn't do that to you. They don't make you feel like you're not enough because you're more than enough. Okay, I feel like this person, yeah, they were a narcissist, you see, there was a one-sided relationship, and you're in this energy where you just, you know better, you're going to make healthier choices, um, and that's it. We got hand of cards here, so you're going to take a chance, take a risk, which is the fool card, um, again, not showing your hand, not letting it be known what it is that you're doing, how you're doing it, it's none of their fucking business, what you're doing, when you're doing it, who you're doing it with, you understand? <laughs> So I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hungry.